Uh, today I want to take you through a very important uh, subject here, the importance of balancing subjects. I know each and every student is eager, willing to go to the university. That is actually the ultimate, the reason why you are in school. You need to excel so that you can go to the university. Therefore, you must put an effort to ensure that you have the points that is going to take you to the university direct so that you can save your parent, your guardian, the agony of paying a lot of money, which is not available. Therefore, first, as you study and revise for your exams, you need to be sure uh, on how the grading is being done. So we have, we have grade from grade A, to grade E, as you can see here. We are from grade A to grade E. So grade E has got one point. So we remember there is cut of points. We talk about points, right? So we have a C plus, which is seven. So let's start. So remember, E is point one. When you get the 12, you have A. A minus 11. B plus 10. B plane 9. B minus 8. C plus 7. C plane 6. C minus like that to the end E. Now, if you want to get a grade to the university, then this is what you need to do. You need to ensure that you have the minimum requirement as I'm going to show you. For you to get a C plus and above, you must ensure that if you want a C, for example, for two students, there's a student who is saying, Mimi nataka tu ni pate C. So if you want to get a C, then you must make sure you have five out of the seven subjects which will be used for you for grading you, you must have five C plus. Kwa hivu kwa hizo subjects zako zote saba, ndio unafanya nane, they will use seven to grade you. So we so basically seven that are used. So out of the seven, make sure you have five C plus. Meona, ukwe na C plus tano. Arafu ukwe na two C plain. Sasa ukiwa na two C plain, wewe utakuwa uko safe na iyo ni C plus utakuwa na Very important. So how do we calculate that? C plus, nimesema grade, eh, grade point zake ni 7, moja C. Kwa hivyo, ukipata C tano, so tunapiga 7, which is 40 C plus times 5. Hapo utapata 35 points. C plain ni 6 points. From the tape nimekuonyesha hapa juu, C plain ikona 6 points. So 6 times 2, utapata 12. So ukiongeza 35 plus 12, utapata 47. Na 47, is the cut off points to the university for seven points in the cut off in the uh, the minimum requirement for you to join the university you need to have 47 points umeona very nice kuna mwingine anasema hata mimi nataka kupata b minus ukitaka kupata b minus lazima ukwe na 5 b minuses and 2 c plus nothing more nothing less if you have 5P minus, then it means B in a kwanga na 8 point. P minus in 8. So to will multiply 8 times 5. Amba yuna tupea 40. Then ukwe na C plus B. C plus B, C moja ni 7. 7 times 2, 14. So utakuwa na 54 points. Na utakuwa mepata B minus. Kama haja yako ni kukua, ni kupata B plane, Acha yako ni kukupata people in your master and try and balance your subject such that you will have 5B plus and 2B minus for you to get a people in of 9 points each. Therefore, 9 times 5 because a people in ikuna 9 points times 5 utapata ni 45. P minus moja ni 8 times 2 16 utapata 61 points in general. And you will really go to university and do what you want to do. Those who are aiming to get a P plus, then 
you must have five subjects where you will get straight B plus. Straight B plus. Five subjects that you will find you will get a B plus straight and then get to brain in another two subjects. And that one will give you 68 points. Those who want to get A minus, you need a five A minuses and a two P plus for you to get an A minus. You can have that one. Then you will have this one. That is the minimum I'm saying. Because somebody and as a part of A minus kwa kukuwa na A A kama A ukikuwa na A tuseme tatu ukuwa na P plus ine utafinali utafika kwa A minus. But I'm saying the minimum yani the minimum ile tunahitaji the minimum. So kuna zingine kuna njia nyingine unaweza pata hizo but this is the, what I'm giving is the minimum requirements. So if you want an A not an A of 90 or points or an A a simple A you need 5 A's in 5 subjects and 2 A minuses that is the minimum you need. But you can have 6 A and then have uh, B minus, one B minus, and that will help you to get an A. So what I'm saying, these are the minimum that you may need. Uh, that one will give you 82 points. There are those who are... Welcome. Let's talk about uh, the grading system that was introduced in the year 2023 and uh, it is going to be used in this year 2024 as well. Now there's nothing like uh, sciences, there's nothing like humanities, there's nothing like technicals. So once they have picked mathematics and one language, in addition to the two subjects, mandatory subjects, the Kenya National Examination Council will consider any other five best performed subjects. So I want you to mark where the and the words which has been underlined. Any other five best subjects. They did not mention sciences. They did not mention uh, arts. They did not mention technicals. They said the Kenya National Examination will consider any other five best performed subjects. It is expected that the new reform measure will increase the number of students qualifying for the university. That was the aim, is to ensure that many students go to university, to diploma, to the debate, to certificate, all of those levels. <clears throat> I have student one. This performance of a student one is as follows. This is student has done eight subjects. So, maths, this today is compulsory, so that one is compulsory. Then, they will look at these languages. English, the student are gonna be plus. Swahili, are gonna see, C plain. So, they will pick English. So, now, from the word, the remaining, they will pick five. So here it is one, remaining subject is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one are considered as the remaining subjects. So from here, they will pick the best five. So they will look at these remaining subjects. Waone, nigani imepafumiwa vizuri. Ukiangalia geography, na wangalia na kiswahiri yenye iliachwa is best performed when you compare to geography. So for these students, they will not use geography. Geography is not going to be used, right? So they will use Swahili, this, 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 <coughs> and this, so that now the subjects are seven. So that the subject are seven. So they will add the points from 11, 10, 6, 9, 8, 10, 10. And the students will have a total point of 64. 
The average point, they divide the points by seven, they get this point, and then the student has got overall grade of a P plane. Overall grade of a P plane. We have student two, whose performance is as follows. So this system is favorable to those who are doing eight subjects, but those who are doing seven subjects, you have no option. Or the subject would be used for grading. You, there's no, you are you are unlucky. But for those who are doing eight, they have an advantage. They have an advantage. So this one, math is compulsory. He has performed well. English and XYR English is well performed here. And then we go to this other subject. We read, read this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the remaining from which they will pick five. So look at this one. Which one is best performed? Chemistry, the student has got a D plus. D plus and XYR is a C. So this time around, XYR will be taken. It's not going to be considered as a language again. It is the remaining five, the remaining subject, right? So here, you are going to take XYR. They will take physics, they will take biology, CRE, and the computer, and they use them to rank the student, right? So uh, this chemistry with two points, with four points, is not going to be used to rank the subject because we don't care about the, the, the technical science, science or whatever you think. So the students will have 65 points and finally we'll have a mean grade of B. Student three, this student This student has got a C plus, has got a C plus, so math is compulsory. And then we compare English and XYA. The student has performed very well in XYA, so it will be used. English will be left when they are comparing languages. After that, now they will look at the remaining six subjects for these students who are doing eight. So the remaining is one. Two, three, four, five, six. These are remaining subjects. From this remaining six, they will pick five best performed. Mark that. Five best performed. So five best performed in Ghani. Wanangalia English yenye meba. Kisasa is not now considered as a language anymore. You see that? It is the remaining after picking the one language and the maths. The remaining. That is the remaining. So here, they will pick. Look at the performance. English is P plus. Uh, chemistry P plane. Physics is a D minus. A D minus two points. So it means the students, they will not use physics. Physics is not going to be used to grade the student. Physics will not be used. Remember, the aim for this system is to ensure many students go to university. And when they go there, they will pick what they want to do, right? So in this case, physics is not going to be considered in grading the student. So the total student points for this student is going to be 58. Average point will be 8 point that. And the students will have um, a mini grade of B minus, right? So, student four, we have student four here. Student four, me pata E math. That's a, it is unfortunate to come by E, but it is, it's going to be used in during the, the ranking. It is unfortunate. So, this one will be used. They will look at languages, English and XY. Now they will pick English because it's well performed. They will what they will ignore English. So now the remaining subject we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the remaining subjects.
In this remaining subject, they will pick five best performed. Now let us see which one is best performed. This one is well, this one is okay, this one is okay, this one is okay, this one is okay. And then English, you see now English here, it is not going to be used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So they will use this one. Unfortunately, maths will be used, so they will have seven subjects from there. So English this time around, they, will, they are not going to use it in grading the student. So the student will have a total of 53 points, and the student will have a P play. So for you to qualify for university direct entry pass mark, you must ensure you have 48 points and above 48 points and above for you to qualify to have a C plus and above. So as you struggle, make sure you have a C plus, uh, 48 points or cumulative points should be 48 when you add them. Remember to subscribe, share to your friends. Thank you.